Hi everybody, how are you doing today? All right, as you guys uh, know, if you've been following my channel, um, I've been um, I've been getting um, into the smaller RC cars as of lately, and um, started off with the 112 scale. Now I'm sort of moving to the 116 scale, and I've been typically moving from brushed to brushless. Um, most recently, I've uh, just upgraded uh, a car called the Hosim 17 G171. It's a full drive buggy, and um, they actually make another model. It's exactly the same, just with a different body shell. It's the uh, G172. It's more of a truggy style. So I'll start the uh, video unboxing now of the G172 truggy. So basically, as you guys already know, I have this one already, the buggy. Here's a bigger picture of the buggy, that's the red one. I, I of course, chose the uh, uh, yellow one. So like I said, I've decided to go for the uh, Truggy. I like the uh, look of the uh, Truggy, obviously. So um, I went ahead with that one, and this is what this one is. So um, with the uh, G171 uh, full drive buggy, like I said, I went ahead and went uh, brushless on that one. I'll be doing the same thing with this. First off, let's start off with the remote. They actually come with very nice remotes. It's basic, but they do look nice. Uh, basically, um, just a standard power button, steering trim, throttle trim, very basic, but it does the job if you just wanna stick to the brushed setup. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like the quality is definitely, it's pretty good for an RTR, it's not bad. But uh, of course I, I convert mine to brushless, but uh, anyway, which, which is a pity because it is a nice remote and there's definitely nothing wrong with it. Uh, it comes with a charger here. And of course, uh, twin lithium ion batteries. Um, I think they're called 18650s. Um, these ones here, I believe that come with them, with this car is uh, 750 um, milliamps each, 3.7 volts. So a total of, uh, if you multiply that by two, it's 7.4 at 1500, um, which gives it the 2S uh, designation, but it's lithium ion. Um, I won't be using this charging system because of course, like I said, I'll be converting to brushless. And this is the plug that it comes with. Um, basically, that just plugs into here and this into any USB uh, powered device. That's how you charge it. So, like I said, um, if you wanted to, if you're getting started off in the hobby, this is a great you know buggy to you know start off with. And like I said, of course, it has the capability of going uh, brushless as well, as I've done with a few uh, Hosums already, uh, namely the G171. So let's continue. Take it apart. Look at the blade is getting it's getting uh, worn out. I've been doing quite a quite a few video unboxings and so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I think it's time for a new knife. All right, you get all centered again. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is the Hosen G172 Truggy. 
It's got a lot of interesting features. Um, I'll show you here. I really like the futuristic sort of body design. It's quite nice, actually. I really like the look of it. It's got a, like I said, it's got a futuristic look to it. I think I'll be adding LED lights to it. I'm not sure about the back. I don't know. I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence if uh, what I want to do with it, but I definitely want to do something, something a little bit different. I'm not going to, I have an idea. I'm not going to actually say it. Um, you'll see when I do my, uh, my next video. On this particular card so basically it's a 116 scale and I'm just going to take it off here start with this the body uh, Lexan body it's uh, see-through the back window see through it's got a honeycomb kind of look to it so it's quite nice actually so when you do the brushless conversion you can actually see the, the motor through it so uh, yeah, once you see the finished product, I think I think you'll be quite you'll be quite impressed with it. It's got a little bit of a spoiler here, so it's actually quite nice. And it's and the black you might not be able to see it on camera, but it's got this kind of triangles trapezoidal kind of color to it. I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but maybe in certain angles you, the camera might catch it. And it's all throughout the black section of the car. So it's actually quite nice. All right. On to the car itself. Okay, so we have uh, a small a digi um, analog servo, of course, because it's brushed. This is the uh, ESC receiver combo. And I see... Uh, Dean's connector, it's typically not here, but they must have done it because they, I guess they don't really want you to change it, but I'm going to change it anyway. The twin lithium ion packs are off to the side. Basically, that's the batteries here. You get two of them, you got one on this side and one on the other side. That's one on this side here. And this says here, 3.7 volt, 1500 milliamp, uh, 18650. So that's the size of these lithium ion batteries. So two of them will give you 7.4 at 1500 milliamp. We have a 390 brushed motor with a heat sink. Sometimes they come off. But this one, I'm not sure if it can come off. But anyway, um, and uh, we have friction shocks, front and rear. Very stiff. So yeah, this is uh, it's definitely going to go. Sometimes you get lucky with these friction shocks. Sometimes they work out. Sometimes they don't. I really like this tread pattern. This is more of a road tread pattern, as you can see. Good size tires, air filled tires. You have a, um, this is a steering linkage. So you got a lot going on in terms of the steering linkage here. But uh, like I said, I have the uh, G171 four wheel drive buggy, exactly the same. Um, and it works quite well. I didn't try it, uh, I didn't try it uh, in stock form. I went with the brushes right away. I'll be doing the same thing with this. I'm just waiting on the um, motor. I ordered a uh, 2845 size. I believe I want 5900 kV again for the motor. I'll be going with probably a 16 or 17 tooth uh, M0.6 motor pinion. I'll be obviously getting rid of these batteries and I'll be changing the, uh, I'll be taking out the ESC receiver combo and in its place I'll be putting a 60 amp brushless ESC. I'll be putting a 3.5 kilogram digital servo and uh, I'll be leaving these tires actually. 
I want to I want to keep these tigers here. I like I said, I really like the look of them. And with the body, yeah, this uh, they give you this plastic uh, protection, of course. So once you peel it off, that's when you really see the color and the shapes. It's really nice. I'm not sure if you can capture it on camera, but I'm going to show you again. Hopefully you can catch it on my video. Looks like I got to take off the spoiler to uh, take off this plastic, which I will off camera. But anyway, so this is, and hopefully you can see it now. So it's quite nice actually. And as I said, you got that see-through um, honeycomb, I guess, finish. So like I said, you'll be able to see the motor through the uh, back window. So it's a, it's quite nice. It's got this really nice front bumper too. And uh, when the car's all buttoned up, I guess it goes underneath like this, yeah. It's actually quite the uh, attractive car. If you, if you look at it from certain angles, it says super fast on it, power, speed racing, at least uh, ready to race. At least they got the, the English right. But it's actually, like I said, it's a quite, it's quite an attractive, it's a very handsome car, I think. Um, it's got like a dual, it's part of the bumper, but it, it, they made it look like with dual exhaust tips with the shape of them. So it's very futuristic, very, um, almost like a, a mini E-Revo, 116th as well. And these tires will give it uh, pretty, pretty decent uh, speed. Um, we have... Let's see, we have, yeah, plastic uh, uh, dog bones, uh, CVD setup at the front, and standard dog bone setup at the rear, and plastic drive cups. Uh, again, it's brushed, so it's designed for this. Um, for these cars, as I keep, as I said in other videos, um, I wouldn't go 3S, especially with this hardware. Because in the 3S on the 3S power, it'll it'll bend these dog bones, and the 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 uh, diff um, setups that are inside. So I would just leave it as 2S. That's why I typically go high KV 2S on these uh, on these cars um, when I do my brushes conversions. Only for the fact that they can still withstand the um, brushless 2S power. I'm talking about these dog bones back here. Fronts aren't really affected, but it's more for the back. Um, it's got decent weight to it, um, probably because of all the clunky plastic and, you know, um, but it will weigh a little more once I have the, um, once I have the brushless motor and all the other electronics into it. So um, yeah, these shocks definitely have to go. Um, actually, do I have, yes. A little sneak preview. Uh, usually I don't do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll be installing these shocks on this car. I ordered them in advance, so of course to match the red. So I think that'll look spot on. Uh, so of course the front, and of course uh, at the back. So I think they'll look quite nice. But yeah. A little sneak peek because usually I like I said typically I don't do I don't tell you my upgrades but I figured I have the shocks let me just tell you so yeah so that's what is going to be happening with this car like I said I'll be putting a, um, a 2845 5900 kV motor um, 60 amp 2s lipo I will not be going 3s on this um, m0.6 either 16 or a 7 tooth pinion I'm not sure what I have in on stock but whatever I have it I'll be using it and uh, and uh, what else that's about it and of course a 2s lipo probably 1500 milliamp nothing too crazy and uh, yeah that's that's basically it so uh, when I, I complete this like I said I'll be doing another video to show you guys and uh, yeah I think you'll be quite happy with the finished product it looks very nice as it is now it's got a nice stance to it um, and it's just gonna be even better with the brushes conversion. So I guess that concludes my video. So if uh, you have any other questions or concerns about the, this car, um, again, this is the whole Sim G172 four wheel drive Truggy, 116th scale. 
um, or any other of, uh, any of the other cards in my RC uh, fleet, please by all means leave a comment below. If we're friends on Facebook, hit me up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And I will do my best to keep you updated as I do on new projects or even pre-existing pre projects that I've either worked on or I'm changing up. I like to you know do these videos to kind of keep you guys informed as to what's going on. And... Um, you know, keep you up to date as to, you know, the latest technologies and whatnot on, on uh, brushless uh, power. So uh, that's about it. So like I said, guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I definitely enjoy doing them. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see you the next time I uh, do some updates on this and we'll go from there. All right. Take care, guys. Good night.